Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. A 22 years old man is involved in a fight and is stabbed in the posterior aspect of his right leg. The knife passes into the popliteal fossa. He sustained an injury to the tibial nerve, whose muscle is least likely to be compromised as a result. So in this question, a 22 years old man involved in fight and sustained a posterior aspect of his leg. So injury occurs in the posterior aspect of his right leg. A knife passes in the popliteal fossa and injury to the tibial nerve. We have to find out which muscle will least likely be compromised. That means the which muscle is not supplied by the tibial nerve because tibial nerve is damaged. So the muscle supplied by the tibial nerve will uh, the function will be impaired and which is the least likely that means the which muscle is impaired or which is not supplied by this tibial nerve here yeah, the options options are tibial is posterior flexor hollis longus flexor digitorum brevis soleus and peroneus tertius so let's see feature regarding this first of all we have to see the tibial nerve and supply area of the tibial nerve so here we can see this is the tibial nerve it is located in the posterior aspect of the leg and this tibial nerve is originated from the sciatic nerve at this point which is the upper part of the popliteal fossa so at the upper part of the popliteal fossa the sciatic nerve terminated into the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve common peroneal nerve it goes anterior and lateral compartment of the leg and supplies the anterior and lateral compartment muscle on the other hand the tibial nerve it passes to the posterior aspect of the leg and it supplies all the muscle of the posterior compartment of the leg and it is uh, clear for us that the posterior compartment of the leg muscle are divided into two groups one is superficial another one is deep so here in the second picture this we can see the uh, same type of picture here this is the tibial nerve and this tibial, tibial nerve going down through the posterior aspect and we can see this tibial nerve finally it reaches the plantar aspect of the foot and supplies the foot muscle so it is in short about the muscle innervation by the tibial nerve here we can see the popliteus gastrocnemius soleus plantaris tibialis posterior flexor hollis longus and flexor digitorum and flexor digitorum brevis and longus so this group of the muscles are supplied by the tibial nerve but we have to differentiate it also the superficial group and deep group for further cases so here in this first picture this is anterior and lateral compartment of the leg which is not uh, topics of this question so this group here uh, the second picture it is the superficial group of the muscle in the posterior compartment of the leg and here we can see first of all this is the gastrocnemius medial and lateral head so the gastrocnemius it is one of the superficial group muscle of the posterior compartment then we can see the it is the soleus it another muscle of the superficial group then plantary so these three muscle are the superficial group muscle in the posterior compartment then we can see in the second picture and these are the deep muscle group and here we can see this is the popliteus and tibial is posterior flexor digitorum longus flexor hollis longus and the soleus soleus is superficial group muscle so these four the four, four muscle are the deep group of muscle so superficial four deep four this four plus four total eight muscle should be memorized and here we can see this is the peroneus tertius this peroneus tertius it is a anterior compartment muscle on the other hand peroneus longus and brevis they are the lateral compartment muscle so peroneus longus peroneus brevis and peroneus tertius they are not in the posterior compartment they are located anterior and lateral compartment so our final answer here this is the peroneus tertius so peroneus tertius will not be affected at tibial nerve is damaged because the tibial nerve is supplies the posterior compartment of the muscle but the peroneus tertius it is a muscle of anterior compartment of the leg so the peroneus tertius is the answer 
and it is least likely to be compromised at result. Other options such as the tibia is posterior, it is the deep group of the muscle of the posterior compartment, flexor hollosis longus, flexor digitorum brevis, they also the deep group muscle, and soleus, the this superficial group of the muscle. So our final answer is this peroneus tertius. Thank you all.